is Monday. I have been working the whole weekend. I look like that. I really need to shower. I need to exercise. Let's get some glow up. You know, I'm gonna go for a walk with Arthur now. I don't know if this counts as a glow up because my hair is still wet but my skin looks great okay back at being a person now my hair is still super wet but um, I don't care I would just let it dry naturally because I don't want to <clears throat> I don't want to air dry that because it always looks weird you know like it never looks as good as trying naturally but anyway today is Monday as I said before and we are gonna do some painting but not with oil I have four illustrations that I did last year for a Halloween challenge stuff and I never put them up for sale and I want to update my shop somehow and I don't have any new oil paintings for that so I thought that I could do some small illustrations on paper so I could update the shop with some new art which would be amazing so that's what I'm gonna do so let's go, let's paint 
I like starting my paintings by setting the vibes. So I always like to burn some incense or lit a candle, you know, like just to create the vibes. Oftentimes I will clean my space as well and get everything kind of like organized and settled so the place it's also inspiring and that's why I like incense so much because this like it smells so good that just puts you in a in a place of comfort and creation in my case so here as you could see I put all the tapes in on the table first because I don't want them to damage the paper so I like to take some glue out of them before I actually put them on paper so that's the trick that I have been doing if you have a better trick please let me know and then I started to try and find inspiration on Pinterest and then I was just I knew that I wanted to paint a moth I also knew that I wanted to paint a mushroom with a slug on on the top because I made uh, some drawings with this concept last year and I never actually made a painting that was like that so I, I knew that I wanted to do that I also knew that the theme for these three paintings would be nature and I just I just found that very easy to do when I don't know what to paint when I just want to paint it's a completely different approach from my fine arts um, body of work because I do lots of research and a lot of studies and blah 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 for my big oil painting so for the gouache illustrations I just want to paint so I just find pretty things and I just paint them that's what happened here so I transferred everything with this amazing red oil pencil that I own uh, I have been having it for a couple of years already and it's nearly finished because I don't use that that often but it's one of the best drawing pencils that I own once they're they're gone I will definitely go and buy more because it's so soft and also you can erase that even though it's not graphite um, and then I just started painting that with gouache it was amazing to paint actually I really enjoy it I had a really I had a really good time doing that and it was very inspiring to find this um, the rat in the mushroom and the moth they are things that I love painting so it was just super fresh to sit down with my gouaches and paint I also like would like to make a comparison with oils and gouache I feel that oil painting is so loud everything is so messy everything is so oily and kind of thick and not as easy as gouache I feel that gouache allows some sort of like more playfulness and I don't know it's kind of soft and oils they are they're not soft they are strong and they are heavy and they are I don't know like I love oils oils it's definitely my medium but I do enjoy a really good um, gouache session <laughs> if you know what I mean so I painted everything in like uh, two days, I think two or three days, which it's not really something that I can do with oils because usually I make loads of layers and it's really nice being able to do all the layers with gouache and then they just dry in a couple of minutes and then you can just paint over it as well, even though gouache it's a completely different technique from oils because if you paint with gouache when you go to the next layer you kind of melt the underneath layer and then you just the, the paint just get mixed together while with oils if you wait for the first layer to dry once you go with another layer they won't mix together and i love that it's 
kind of one of my techniques it's painting like that so when I'm painting with gouache I feel that I really have to switch my brain and here I am talking to my friends on a video call uh, with Olivia and Isabelle I've been talking to them a lot recently and I really like it it makes me feel less alone in the studio so I really appreciate that now that the paintings are dry I'm just signing them with the silver pen that I have hello today it's Tuesday um, I just finished the paintings they are now drying in the Sun I think that by the time you see this video they are gonna be already in my shop so if you're interested check out the link I will leave the link of my shop below so you can purchase your favorite one and support an artist and bring magic to your life and house okay it's a beautiful sunny day as you can see and we're going to play with art outside a little bit like um, we already went for a walk but I didn't record anything because I really wanted to give him all the attention that he deserves but it's such a beautiful day I have loads of work to do I'm passing some videos to my computer from my other camera and now yeah I just want to play with my dog you know <laughs> you know when it's sunshine and you just want to play with your dog that's what we are gonna do so let's play with Arthur outside and let's enjoy the day on some back I'm going to do some more work maybe I will do two extra paintings or maybe I will start working f for my patreon because I want to start a patreon I mean ah but it's super excited okay let's go for a walk the painting ah! <laughs> Woo! this painting I painted it in 2021 I'm pretty sure there is a video somewhere uh, in this channel of me painting it it's kind of fun it took so long for this painting to be sold so if you are a painter if you are an artist and you have a piece that it's been ages that you painted and no one ever bought it don't lose hope some somewhere someday someone it's gonna buy it from you and now I am just uh, organizing the frame so fixing the frame actually so my client can my customer I don't know the difference between client and customer 
I think it's just a customer when you sell like one item like that and a client would be like oh a company hired me to do some illustrations or something like that I don't know I'm just so happy so happy I love when people buy my paintings because they're why wouldn't I I just love it I think that it's amazing that someone else wants to give my paintings a home because let's be honest I paint a lot I paint so much and I have so many paintings laying around you know I really can't just have all these paintings for myself like you guys you gotta buy my paintings because I don't have space <laughs> I don't have space and like the longest the painting stays with me chances are that they are gonna get damaged because I just don't have the space to keep them all it's too many paintings like for example behind me look at that they are all paintings looking for a home because they need to be relocated I don't have a storage unit yet so where I can like just put all my paint and also I don't want them to be in a storage I want them to be in your house you know bringing magic and beauty to your life anyway she bought this painting for her father because it's his birthday and I wanted to I always give like some postcards and I want to write a poem about aging and I found this one it's titled Hallelujah by Mary Oliver. I love her and I love her poems. Hallelujah by Mary Oliver. Everyone should be born into this world happy and loving everything. But in truth, it rarely works that way. For myself, I have spent my life clamoring toward it. Hallelujah, anyway, I am not where I started. And have you too been trudling like that? sometimes almost forgetting how wondrous the world is and how miraculously kind some people can be and have you too decided that probably nothing important it's ever easy not say for the first 60 years hallelujah i'm 60 now and even a little more and some days i feel i have wings